But I told you so channel now we all know that flirting is one of the best ways to actually start something up with someone that we like but there are some huge flirting mistakes that most of us make without even realizing it and honestly there's a really fine line between like flirting the right way and doing it completely wrong so today I'm gonna tell you guys the 11 flirting mistakes that you need to avoid and how to actually get these moves right so that you can do them the right way and actually progress things forward with your crush the first huge mistake that most of us make when it comes to flirting is just overdoing it on our looks. If you are the kind of girl that loves to wear like sweatpants and like be super dressed down and then all of a sudden you're wearing like an off the shoulder like red shirt and red lipstick and like your hair done up in this big bun or something, it's gonna look really unnatural and not like you and your crush is gonna know that you're trying to impress someone, probably them. The best thing to do guys is just focus on the actual art of flirting. That's gonna get you far. The second colossal mistake that we all make when we flirt is being a little bit too mean when we're teasing. Teasing is actually a really cute and fun way to flirt with someone, but you wanna keep it light and like not actually insulting. Remember that kid that used to tease you and everyone was like, oh, he's teasing you because he likes you, but it didn't feel good for you? Don't be that kid. Guys, three, this one is so common. I see it all the time. Sometimes when we want someone to like us or we're flirting with them, we want them to know about all the other people who like us. So we talk about all of our potential suitors just casually. We bring them up, but just let them know that those other people have a thing for us. This could end in so many different bad ways. Like your crush can think they're friend zoned and you're just talking to them for advice. They might think that you actually like one of these people. They might feel like they're just another number on your list. The list goes on. Oh, guys. Number four, I see this one all the time. Oh, it makes me so angry, okay? The fourth flirting mistake is flirting with someone while they're in a relationship. Do not ever, 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 do this, period. Don't ever do this, period. It is so bad. I've seen so many people use this type of flirting as a strategy because they're like, oh, well, maybe if they know I'm interested, like that's what it will take to like break them up with their girlfriend. It's just so wrong. The worst part about this one is if they actually flirt back with you, now you have somebody who is willing to flirt with someone else while they're in a relationship. Would you really want to date that person? I don't think so. Moving on. Fifth flirting mistake, guys, is being just a little bit dishonest. Now, let's be real. We've all done this before. Being a little bit dishonest about the things that you're interested in. So if your crush is like, yeah, gonna watch hockey tonight, gonna wear my, gonna wear my Matthews jersey, and you're like, yeah, I love Matthews. He's so good. And, and you don't know, you're like, I don't know. Matthews could be the goalie or the coach. Like, I don't know. Basically, the truth is gonna come out eventually. So you don't wanna get like caught in a lie if you're not actually interested. When you're in a relationship, you're allowed to have separate interests and that's what makes relationships so good. Guys, this is the perfect time. If you have made it this far into the video and you love it so far and you're new here to Ask Kimberly, now is the perfect time to hit that big subscribe button down below. We still have six more tips, but hit that big subscribe button down below. And just for a little bit more incentive, I'm doing like this massive giveaway right now for the Tarte hashtag see the change lip gloss vault. And it is so freaking cute. You're gonna get 14 shades of amazing like glittery gloss and it comes in this huge turtle and it's so absolutely beautiful. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is be subscribed to my YouTube channel Ask Kimberly here and leave a comment. I'm doing a completely separate giveaway for the same turtle over on Instagram so all you have to do to enter that giveaway is follow me on Instagram and leave a comment over there. Good luck guys. I am so excited to give away this absolutely adorable prize. It's so, I love it so much. Guys, the sixth thing that's super unattractive when girls flirt is that, okay, just picture this girl. So I really need a guy who like knows how to dress, like knows how to dress, and he needs to be super close to his mom, and he needs to be really ambitious. I actually prefer lawyers. I have actually met many of these girls before when I used to work in practice, and having this super specific list of your type is so intimidating for guys. Some people think this is really attractive because they're like, I'm being upfront about what I want, and I'm like specific, but no. It's okay to let someone know that they might be your type, like that's super cool. But there is such a thing as going too far, and this is definitely 
definitely too far. Number seven, it's also a huge mistake when you flirt with your crush in front of all of his friends. Especially guys, if you're outgoing and your crush is super shy, it can feel very vulnerable for them to be in a situation where they like, like you and want to progress the relationship, but they're like looking around, seeing what their friends are going to think of this different behavior that they're displaying around you. So save the heavy duty flirting for when it's just the two of you and you'll be good. <laughs> Number eight guys is touching too much. Now there are certain things in flirting as like no touch zones. Don't be weird and go for like more intimate touching right out of the gate. Like don't go for their knee or like their chest or something because like that's weird and it won't feel natural if you're doing it like right away. Number nine guys, you will not believe the amount of people I've seen who think it's a good flirting technique to put themselves down and then wait for their crush to like say something nice as if they're like complimenting you. Oh, I feel so ugly today. I have like this new breakout and it really sucks. Mm. First of all, guys, this isn't flirting. Waiting for someone to compliment you is just not flirting. Your crush should never have to reassure you that you're smart, talented, or beautiful. Like it's better to be confident and to give them a compliment about something to do with themselves. So the 10th thing that is like a terrible, horrible flirting move to avoid. Some people think that if they compliment their crush on all of like the small things, that it's gonna look like unique and like they're noticing the little details. But things like, oh, I love the way you hold your pen when you write or I love the way you raise your hand in class. I love the way you tie your shoes. This isn't tied in with anything actually special about them and they're not gonna feel complimented when you say it. It's just going to be weird. So guys, do not lower yourself to like create new compliments for the sake of flirting because it is not going to work, I'm sorry. Finally guys, the 11th flirting blunder that most people make, and I've seen a lot of people do this, is that they try to combine all of the different flirting moves at once. Now, if you've seen my video, 50 Ways to Flirt, you know there's a lot of flirting moves out there. You will look crazy if you try to do too many flirting moves at once. And you also need to know that like different flirting moves work for different people. So like choose the ones that actually work for you and your personality and that feel comfortable. All right, you guys, I hope you love that video. I hope you will stick around and subscribe to my channel and enter both of the giveaways, guys. Do not forget, it is so good. And I will see you back here next week for another video all about relationships. Bye.